All right, I have a very basic clicker here, but I want it so that they can only buy this 2X upgrade if they have a certain amount of points. I don't want them to buy it and then go negative. So I'm actually going to make, so, make it so that this button can't be clicked until you hit a certain score. So most of that's gonna happen in the code, so let's dive on in there. So I have the script here. It's very similar to what the cookie clicker script is. So if you haven't already done that, make sure you build that out. But the very first thing that I need to do is if I'm going to turn the button on and off, I need to have a reference to that button. I need to go grab that button. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna create a public variable. You can make this private and then grab it in your start function, but let's go ahead and just make it public for ease of use. And it's gonna be of type button because we're grabbing a UI button. And let's call this uh, buy to buy to x button. Okay, cool. So now that we have a reference to it in our code, we need to go ahead and slot in the actual button that we want to hold there. So in our editor, my script is sitting on my canvas here. So back in the editor, my script is actually sitting on my canvas. So I have my canvas selected, and then down here I can see that buy 2x button uh, empty slot. Let's go ahead and slide our buy 2x button right in there. So now we actually have the button in our code. Save that, head back to our script. So now what I wanna do is I need to keep track of what the score is at and then disable or enable the button based on the score. So our update function runs continuously. So this can track values really, really easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in an if statement. And then I'm going to, in my conditional, in the parameter that says whether or not this is true, I'm gonna say score is greater than or equal to 10. This says if the score is 10 or is higher than 10, do this stuff. So between those curly brackets, I'm gonna do the stuff. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take that uh, buy 2x button dot enabled, I'm gonna set it to true. And this says, if the score is greater than 10, make it so that I can click on that button. And then we'll go through and we'll just fire an else in here so that if the score happens to fall down below, let's say you took away some score when they bought the upgrade, ha huh, ha huh, there's an idea. Then we're gonna go ahead and that buy 2x button dot enabled will then get switched back to false, which means you can no longer click it if your score is below 10. Now, once you've bought this upgrade, it's kind of permanent. Um, you're, you're never gonna get a lower than 2x upgrade now, but this is good practice for coding. Now, the other thing that we need to do is, if you've paid attention here, you will see that we never turned the button off when the game started. So it's enabled until we say it's disabled. So when the game starts, we need to disable that button. So we're gonna do that by 2x button dot enabled. I'm gonna set that equal to false. As soon as the game starts, then enable it. So if you want a button to be off by default, make sure you put this enabled false in your start or your awake method. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's come back to the editor. Let's hit play here. I can't click this button. So you can see there's no impressions happening. I clicked it a bunch of times and I still just go up by one. Still can't, I'm at two, still just goes up by one. But if I get above 10, I can then click that, it upgrades it, and now I count by twos. So that's how to disable and enable a button based on a value of a variable. Hopefully that was helpful. If not, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know, watch, watch, watch Mark Rober on YouTube. I don't, I don't, I don't know.